92.3 WIL this afternoon, joined by Keith Urban. Marty. Hey, Keith, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. Great to talk to you. Likewise. It's been a while. It has been way too long, and you're getting back out on the road this summer with the Speed of Now Tour, which is coming to Hollywood Casino Amphitheater. That is going to be August 19th. Oh, my gosh. We're so fired up. I mean, pent pent up energy of the last two years. We were just ready to get at, get at it. I can only imagine the energy that you're ready to bring to everyone here in St. Louis in August is ready to go. But I will say, I was at the first show that you got back out on that stage at the Forum in Vegas at Caesars Palace. And I'm telling you, it was go time, it seemed like. Mm. It had been a long, I think we, it had been 500 and something days between <laughs> when we when we played last and it was, it was long overdue. The crazy part was like, I remember that show, and I remember within a couple of songs, it felt like we'd just played the week before. It was like time just disappeared. That's mind-blowing. It was that long since you all had played together. So when it's been that long, were you nervous getting back on stage after that many days off? No, I wasn't. I was just ready to go. It's, you know, I've never, like everybody else, I've never had anything like that happen where you can't play somewhere. It's one thing to choose not to play for a year or so, but it's a whole different thing when there's when you can't. There's nowhere to play. And I know if me, the, the band, the road crew, all the vendors, everybody, we were just, just antsy and ready to get out there. Seeing your show in Vegas was just unbelievably acoustics. Everything is perfect, but it was a night that I was like, please don't stop. Let's just keep the party rolling. Yeah, we could have played for another few hours. Even. Totally. And you still got a couple more dates coming up, too, in Vegas. We do. with have a memorial weekend. Yeah, it is an amazing venue magical keith your latest single wild hearts you did not originally write on that record but when you got it you decided to change a couple of the lyrics and became a songwriter on it what happened there i i rewrote the verse yeah the the, the i felt the song i love the song um i love the chorus of the song but the verses weren't weren't speaking to me and i i I, I called him and I said, I've never done this before, but I love the chorus so much, but the verses don't feel personal for me. Would it be all right if I rewrote them? And they were amazingly supportive. And so I wrote both verses and made them much more about my own journey, you know, my own journey from Australia to to follow my country music dreams. Which is interesting you bring that up because one of the articles I had recently read, which I had no clue, but when you came from Australia to Nashville, you were kind of an outcast. Uh, the country music scene was not accepting your brand of country music. But now you're like on the Mount Rushmore of modern day country artists. Hey, you know, this country music in general has always been um, an evolving genre, right? Like mm-hmm. It doesn't sound like it, it did 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 50 years ago. It's always changing. Um, and just, I know when I got here, I just, it, I didn't, my music didn't fit in. And I, I I wanted to figure out how to fit in, but not lose who I was. And that that's a bit of a balancing act. And it just took a long time. It always seems like you're an innovator when it comes to country music. I, I, I you know, all I know is that it, just, it took years of being here and f- trying to figure out how do I write songs and make music that, is me, but also fits and works. And Country Radio has been amazing at supporting me from very early on. Uh, and here we are with Wild Hearts. Crazy. You were on Ellen the other day as she's wrapping up her TV show. You sang Blue Ain't Your Color, and you gifted her a really cool guitar. I was curious, what is the coolest gift you have ever gotten from another country artist? <laughs> so many. Um, I, I, pl- I did a few things with Garth Brooks one time, and... He called up and he goes, hey, I've got a gift. I want to thank you. And I said, oh, I'm at the studio today. You just want to drop it down here? He goes, I'd really rather meet you at your house. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm like, I'll be there tomorrow. So he shows up in this brand new tricked out Jeep, Laredo. <laughs> and I was like, where's the gift? He goes, this is it. And he just threw me the keys. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> where, where is that Jeep now? Oh, it's in my garage. I drive it a lot. Yeah. Okay. Is that is that the, the family car almost? That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's killer. And that's amazing. You still have it. And you know, country artists are very good at giving gifts to other artists, and that's kind of a tradition. That when a tour wraps up, the headliner gives the opening acts a gift. Do you have any ideas on what you might be giving Ingrid Andrus as a gift when the tour wraps up this year? Yeah, I'm gonna put my thinking cap on for that. I'm just. I'm thrilled that she's coming out on this tour because she's a great writer, she's a great singer, but her live is a whole different thing. She's a, she's a great storyteller, mm-hmm. super funny, and uh, I think I think everybody's going to love her if you haven't seen her live. Oh, she's super funny. She's got a great, great sense of humor, loves her tequila too. When you and Nicole are out there walking about and a fan sees Nicole, has it happened where someone asked you to take the picture of them and Nicole Kidman together? <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh, I've done a, I've done a few of those. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> You're like, hold on. You don't want me in the picture? Like, no, no. I just want him with Nicole. I'm good. <laughs> Absolutely. I get it. Well, Keith, cannot wait to see you. Congratulations on the success. Welcome you back here to St. Louis on August 19th, man. Appreciate you taking the Thanks. time. Appreciate it. You too, man. Nice to talk to you again.